Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Last time we did Chocobo stuff, and this time we may or may not be doing more Chocobo stuff. Uh, first of all, first of all, we're gonna use these greens that we bought. Um, I have no idea which of these is faster. Fortunately, I have ten greens, so we're just gonna. Pile them all on there. <laughs> yeah, I know. And that's the one we're going to take with us. Because even if we can't ra race right now, we can still just... W well, you'll see. We're on a chocobo! And... We can board the high wind with it, which is pretty cool. Uh, hmm. In fact, actually, if we go inside, let's show this really quickly. No, go, there we go. You notice there is a room labeled Chocobo. Well, if we go in there, it's our Chocobo! Okay. Well, it's a great chocobo, actually. Especially after all those greens I've put in it. But it's not amazing. We'll have to work on that. But for now... For now, we're going to attempt to go into the gold saucer. Honestly, I'm not too hopeful about this being, su about this being successful. But, well, gotta try, you know? Just... You gotta try. And if it doesn't work, then we'll be near off the next place for us to stop by anyway. Plus, it's not like we have any enough money to breed beyond this level anyway, so... Okay, uh... This is a little bit awkward. I wish I could get you to be in the high wind, like, without me leaving you out here, but... You know, what you gonna do, I guess. Okay, so they are totally closed. Well, that was productive. To our next destination! We I do actually have one thing I want to do, then we are gonna start the plot stuff. Um, let's see. The place that I want should be this is Cosmo Canyon, right? So Well, there's clearly nothing here. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe this island? I mean it's possible, one way to find out. Nope. Riding a choke boat will not work here. Let's uh let's save though. I mean, Ryan Chocobo will work here, but it won't work insofar as it will not allow me to do what I want to be doing. Assuming this is even the correct item. Um... I mean, I could go either way on these. Actually, no. These are cl clearly not what I want to be encountering. Signs point to this being the incorrect island. But man, like, I don't know what to do. My directions state south of Cosmo Canyon. There are no islands south of Cosmo Canyon. Cosmo Canyon is, like, where is it? Here. Wutai is directly west of Cosmo Canyon, like the very tip of it. The only thing that is south of Cosmo Canyon is... Uh, hmm. I mean, I wouldn't really call this a... No, this is where this is. This is really more south of Gongola than Cosmo Canyon. But I can't think of anywhere else it would... Sure, let's try it. Oh man, this is going to be so crowded. I need to make sure there's enough space between these so that I can actually get on my chocobo before I get on the high wind. Man, this is cramped. I hope this is the right island. 
I should have maybe looked at, at a map first. Uh... Nope. Nope, this is probably incorrect. Damn it. I don't know, maybe there's, there's something in the middle of the ocean that's not on my map? I guess it's possible. With what I'm looking for, I'm sort of expe half expecting a desert island? But, like, there's just nothing here, you know? Uh, well that's a thing, but we can't do that for a while yet. Um, point south. And just sort of fly that way. Oh, there is... There's totally an island hidden in the ocean. It's not on my map or anything. Okay, then. We found it! Yay! But why are we here? Why simple. Two very good reasons. Well, one good reason, actually, that we can do two different things with. This is Cactar Island! Uh, so, remember when we grabbed this and I said it would be useless? Well, guess what? Cactars have a level that's a multiple of four. Which is very handy for a couple of reasons. Uh, for one thing... 10,000 needles. Wait, that's not an enemy skill? There's a really good way to fill a limit gauge, I'll admit, but... Hmm. The other reason, uh, I actually forgot to equip the materia I need for it, so... We'll show it in the next fight. Uh, you're nearly dead, just 10,000 needles yourself, since that's apparently not an enemy skill. I thought it was an enemy skill, um, but uh, that's not as much money as I thought. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, overall, Cactar is not as great as- haven't really quite lived up to the hype for me, but there's still a good reason to be here. Um, if I throw on the Morph Materia, Then I re- basically I do a repeat of that last battle, except I start trying to morph the Cactar. Uh, anytime now. Anytime now. There we go. Right, so as I was saying... Level 4 Suicide, followed by Manipulate, because it's nearly dead, so it's an easy Manipulate target. Uh, not easy enough, though, apparently. I guess I should just put the Hypno Crown on Barret, but... Oh, the one time you hit it! Okay... Take three, I suppose. This time, with Hypno Crown. Oh, right. Sorry, I should be talking. Uh... No. So... I did the thing, now I want to morph the- wait, what? Why is it no longer manipulated? Right, so, we want to morph the Cactar. And we got a Tetra Elemental! What is that, you ask? With its impressive sounding name, why, it is none other than, uh, if I can just, uh, a, where the hell is it? Wait, I'm confused. This is supposed to be armor. Oh, it's an ex- it's an accessory? 
was a great accessory, okay? I thought it was armor for some reason, but, you know, it's still totally worth having. Because, like, it makes you immune to four different elements at once. Way better than a fire ring. So, what I'm gonna do is I want three of these. I'm not necessarily gonna use them all right away, but they're very useful to have. And then I'm gonna go, you know, do something else. But in the meantime, I don't... Actually, no. I want to complain about this first. Look at this island. It is blatantly obvious that this is on the intersection of a seam on the map. It is... The textures don't line up at all. You can totally see that this, 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 and this are different pieces. And because, th and because these four are so obvious, you can see where the seam is over here as well. This one isn't as obvious, but it stands out because it's right beside the really bad one. A anyway, <laughs> enough of that. It was just re that scene was just really bothering me. Um, so I'm gonna cut off here. Is what I'm gonna do. Joy, well, don't join me next time. Join me in a couple seconds for you after I have those Tetra Elementals I want. Uh, so see you in a few. Okay then. Also worth mentioning, for later on, this is a really good place for grinding limit breaks. Um, anyway, or er, well, for grinding some limit breaks. It's not so great for the enemy kill ones, but it is really good for just the limit spam ones. Uh, which I will probably not do in this game but still worth mentioning. There's only a hole left. Anyway, remember that town we were suspiciously avoiding before? I think it's time to finally do some plot stuff, so we're heading there. Uh, we can land right here, run over there on our chocobo, dismount. I just saved. I don't need to do it again. And enter! Midi... Midel? Midel! Okay. Mm-hmm. Sure. Right, so, there's a few different things to do here. Yep. She is sort of an insane shopper. Uh, wait, I want to talk to her, her little cho mini chocobo. Yep. Give it some minute greens. Um, it looks being tickled on the neck, right? Or, no, it was behind the ears. We got the... Re re okay, what material? You didn't actually say. I guess let's just have to go look. Uh, we got the contain materia. Which, as you will note, does a whole bunch of useless shit, but then maxes out at flare. It's it's one of the most powerful spells. I mean, it is Final Fantasy, so you would expect that probably, but still. Hello, I I I have no money, so I spent it all on Chocobo stuff. Actually, I'm probably gonna have to sell some stuff while I'm here. Not not this store, obviously, but I seem to recall there was a decent weapon shop here. We'll see, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Out of town indeed. Earthquakes, you say? Interesting. Oh, this one has the... It's her again! Ah, she's just... Apparently she's been saving like mad for the end of the world. Well, here it is. How can you help me? Um, I own all of these materia, which is fortunate because, you know, money. Um, although more HP plus is actually not bad to have, but I can buy those other places. Hello. 
Weapons and armor. Oh, that reminds me. Well... Hmm. Come on! Do you really need weapons? I wonder if it is locked. Hmm. No, I already gave the Chocobo Greens. I don't... I wonder if it does anything to give more. I mean, I have plenty of Minute Greens, so I don't need them for anything else. Yeah, okay. It does nothing. No, I want to talk to... Why do you need weapons? I mean, I sort of understand the materia, but come on! Charity store? Charity for whom? Okay, yeah, that is clearly a stronger weapon. Um... Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's why that one is so expensive. Um... Probably worth buying a few of these as well. Well, actually, I'm probably not gonna buy this, but it's definitely worth buying a few of these. And the bonds. Um, well, I'll do this first. I... Really? Hmm. Right, so three of those should be enough, and then I'm out of money. Right! So... A few things to do now. Um, what's this? Okay, then. Raises ability. So, okay, Fire 2 is actually useless. Like, I want to get rid of this junk, even though it's not worth anything, just so it stops taking up space in my inventory. Because I will never use it. Well, I mean, I could conceivably use that. I mean, it's unlikely, but... Maybe keep the level 3 ones, I guess, but... Oh, okay, Ghost Hem is actually useful. Uh... Probably not, but... Why are eye drops way down here? I definitely won't use that. Uh, wait, this is actually worth money! Why is this one, worth, of all things, worth money? Whatever. Uh, definitely won't use you. Probably not that either. Uh, that is super vague. Don't really need the fire ring anymore. Or any of the elemental rings. So I could sell these as well. Not sure I will, but I could. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, not selling that. Um... I can sell most of the weapons in here. Because I... Not only do I want to buy new weapons, but I've also equipped what are currently probably my best ones in each category. I definitely went through my weapons at some point to make sure I, everyone was equipped with the best one I had available for them. Which is saying more for some characters than others. Uh, right. So, wait, no, wasn't... No, the Ruin Blade. This one is a... Wow, that's actually really low. Sell it! Uh, that's pretty valuable, but if I'm not wearing it, I probably won't. Let's be reasonable. Keeping powerful weapons for throwing it is a thing? I don't really want to get rid of Aerith's weapons. But it's not like I'm ever going to use them. Okay. Sorry, Aerith. But my wallet is in need. Not to mention inventory space. I mean, seriously. Just sort... Clearing this stuff out so that I can sort through this more easily. It's a huge boom. Uh, Javelin is actually really good for throwing. Or was it the Trident? One of these is really good for throwing. But, let's be honest here, I'm not going to throw anything either. It's just not something I do, usually. Even in games where it's really good, just... It's hard to bring yourself to do it, you know? This stuff is expensive. You're gonna burn all that for a one-time use attack? I don't think so. Uh... Yeah, sure as hell don't need Kate's stuff. 
Okay, now in Vincent's case, I should keep this one. I think. Well, I can sell most of them anyway. This might be... You know, it, realistically, it's not. And I can... Well... That one, that one, that one. This still lets me... If I care about that, though, I should just get a wizard thing. Uh, okay, uh... Hmm. Don't need four slots, that's for sure. Um, let's see... And I have two ribbons and three tetra elementals. So, quite a lot of this stuff is redundant as not that, actually. Uh, not that either. Uh, ooh, circle it. Star Pendant is redundant. So is this. Star Pendant was really redundant. Um... I only have two ribbons is the thing. So, well, I'm not really concerned about darkness or poison, to be honest. Uh, frog is actually a problematic status effect. Since it can be tricky to cure it, but I can also just use an item. Mm, yeah, well, actually, Berserk loses control, that is a legitimate one. Uh, that one is definitely worth keeping. Uh, Tetramental does not absorb water, but it does nullify lightning. In fact, it absorbs lightning, so it's better than nullifying lightning. Uh, and lastly, I believe there was a fire thing way up here somewhere. Yeah, fire ring. There we go. Now I have some money. Let's spend it all immediately. Uh, let's see. Getting that for Barrett is definitely good. Uh, something for Sid would be good. Is anyone, like, really behind on... Okay, not really. Uh, one of these might not be bad, but I don't really have the funds for it. Now, let's see... Realistically, I'm gonna keep using red for a while. He needs those lim he needs those kills for the limit breaks, like seriously. Uh let's see, so that leads Yuffie. And who after red is behind it leads Yuffie and Tifa. Hmm. I think Tifa's gonna be fine. So, here's the thing, do I want to get, do I want to do the Wutai quest right now? If I do, then I need to get a new weapon for her, but if I don't, then it doesn't need to happen right now. Mm. I'm gonna, hmm, I probably am gonna do it pretty soon, so buying this is good. I don't really care about you, Vincent. I'm not going to use you that much. Okay. No. Okay, we're good, and this episode suddenly got really long because of all the shopping. Sorry about that. Uh, we're going to cut off here. Join me next time when we actually do plot stuff for real. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII and have a great day. Bye!